Hello, I think we are live. Hey everyone, welcome. Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts. And tonight we have a, um, hang on y'all, let me see if I got some, um, rotate your phone, let me see y'all. Okay, I'm turning the volume up, sorry y'all. We have a outdoor, um, craft to do and it's going to be making a ladybug for your garden so let's get started i'm going to turn you down now right down here okay say hello when you get on and this is going to be kind of similar to the um the turtles that we done so, there's my sweet friend, Diane. Hey, I'm happy you are here. And I'm out here and it is hot. It is so humid. Let me adjust this a little bit. Okay. This, um, you can get the supplies at Dollar Tree, at Walmart, at um, Dollar General or on Amazon. So, and um, I will try to put the links to the products from Amazon in the description. But we're using a cocoa liner. They have these at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, Amazon, all over. So, it's just a, a cocoa liner is what they call it. So that's one item we're using. Another item is um, a flower basket that you usually put the cocoa liners in and put your flowers in it and hang it and all this. Well, this was the hanging baskets from the Dollar Tree and you can get them everywhere also. So we used it and what I did, because these things pop and they fly everywhere, I went around uh, with some heavy duty wire cutters and cut all the way around. And then I picked out my four legs um, and I left them long and on the, all the other ones, I kind of trimmed them down a little bit. I still want them to give support for the frame, but um, I didn't want them to get in the way of me get confused and all that. So, what I did, I took some spray paint and it's, I forgot to bring it up here, y'all. It's just Rust-Oleum. It's the only kind I could find um, at Walmart that was red. So, I went ahead and painted the cocoa liner. Um, and that's going to be the body. We're going to make two, actually two different um, ladybugs. So we've got that ring cut off. Now, I used just plain little terracotta pots. And I have painted the bottom of them right before I come live. And, which means they're still a little wet. And if y'all don't know this little trick, Baby wipes are amazing for your hands or for little mess ups that you might do. But while they're drying a couple of minutes, I'll go over our supplies. I'm using a styrofoam ball. In fact, this was a styrofoam ornament, probably from two years, three years ago at Walmart after Christmas time. I got them on clearance. So we're using one of those. I'm going to use, um, this is like a little, um, wiry pipe cleaner that we're going to make his antlers. I've got some eyeballs, some black paint. We're going to, um, use a little Christmas pom-pom for his nose. I've got some wire and I want to attach his head. And I'm using a um, skewer stick. I had to stop and think a minute. 
that I'm going to use to attach his head. So I painted a, a ball black. That's going to be his head. And I've got some wire here. So, let me see. They should be getting dry. That one's still a little wet. Okay, I could have waited till we didn't got them on to put them on here or got them on here before I painted it, but I didn't. So once we get it on, I'm gonna take my wire cutters, and you're gonna need some heavy duty wire cutters because this wire is pretty tough. And I'm trying to bend it without messing up the black paint. I'm gonna turn it. And I'm going to use a rubber band. And we're just going to twist. And this is just going to help it um, to keep from coming off. Push it up, make it a, like a little ball there so that it just dangles and it's not going to come off. Okay, you can put two on there if you'd like. The last time I made one of these, I put big ones on there. I, I made the, um, I think that might be wise. Um, the turtles, if y'all seen my video on the turtles, it's on my YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel is linked in the top of this post. So you can um, click on it and go subscribe. Okay. Let's put another little foot on here. And y'all, this is a quick... All I did was I spray painted the cocoa liner. I spray painted the little uh, terracotta pots. And then I um, brushed the black on. So. But just to be safe. And you could use like little pipe cleaners at this um, point. Um, if you wanted to. But these are real easy, real cute. And then when we get this done, I have a um, idea for just a little terracotta pot making a little ladybug out of it. Okay, so we've got two feet on. Put the, the third one. And like I said, you can use rubber bands or you can use um, pipe cleaners, anything just to wrap to keep your um, little terracotta pot from coming off is all we're doing this for. I made the little green and um, a brown turtle. I thought they were really cute. Let me turn this in half and then do two at a time and it won't take as long. Why didn't I think of that before? There we go, that was quicker, wasn't it? Okay, our last little foot here. These are so cute. And one of my followers on YouTube is the one that suggested a ladybug to me. When I did the um, turtles, she suggested the ladybug. And then I have another lady that... Um, she said, why don't you do a frog? So I gotta come up with a frog, y'all. 
But a frog's body is not round like a ladybug. It's kind of different. Okay. Just getting this on here. Okay. Good evening. There's Miss Ron uh, Robin. We're making a ladybug and we've got the feet done. Kind of like our turtle that we made. And I could not find at Walmart or anywhere the um, larger terracotta pots today or yesterday. So these are a little smaller than what I wanted to use, but we're going to make them work anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do to keep from losing the site, I'm probably going to You know what, I might could turn this upside down and make it where it's taller. Let me try that because I don't want it too short to where it falls. I'm gonna take a detour here. I really don't want to hide my little feet because they're going to be cute too. So, y'all, this wire is pretty tough. So, Let's see what this does to get us some height up here. I'm just going to see if this is going to work. Because I didn't make one of these before I come live, so y'all are getting to see me figure it out as I go. Let's put this. make it smaller because the top of it being round it's not going to be as big as the outside anyway loving it thank you miss robin i appreciate that yeah that's going to look better so let me get a zip tie here and zip tie this on here y'all it is so humid down here it's one of those days where it's 90 degrees and it feels like it's about 115 it's so humid you feel sticky and muggy and wet when you go outside because it is so hot summer has arrived Okay. So, you know what I'm going to do? And what might be better than that is, let's see. to hold that up.
hold that up so it doesn't drop down in there. It might help us to do this too. trying to hold him up so he I just don't want to lose my feet down in there. And those seem to be holding so Let's do that. And that way, it'll help hold his feet up, body up off of his feet. Y'all might have a better idea what to do with this. Okay. I think this is going to work somewhat good. Okay. Now then, since we got our body up... A little tall on the side. Y'all get to watch me figure this all out. y'all can see. Has anybody tried the um, turtles yet? Okay, I think we about got it now. I'm going to um, need to let it dangle just a little bit. I'm going to put him up on here. while those feet hanging dry. And we'll work on his head. And I have used a styrofoam ornament. Um, back, I got these after Christmas, a couple years ago. So what I'm gonna do, painted it black. And I'm going to add the skewer so that I can poke it through the cocoa liner. And then it's long enough that I can go in there and I can wire it so that it doesn't move around and flop around. Okay. Um, let's see. Now we are going to paint the last step um i've got a little sponge here and we're gonna put black polka dots on him him her whatever it is i've got some little pipe cleaners that look kind of wiry that i'm using for his antlers And you can use the ones that look like this, or you can use the ones that look fuzzy. These just kind of look like a some type of tinsel. Let's see here. Let's 
see if we can kind of get them close to the same size. here. Let's put a little dab of glue here and here. And put some eyeballs. I don't know how the eyeballs are going to hold up. There's went some fuzz in the heat. But if they fall off, I'll come back and paint them. Then I'm going to add him a nose. Hey, Miss Stephanie, how are you? Welcome. Glad you could join us. We're making a ladybug. Okay. So we've got his little face made. See how cute he's going to be? All right. I, was, I had him sitting up on here so the hot glue could could set up a few minutes while we did that. And I think it's about dry. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, oh, let's see. Let's get us some wire here. And I want to kind of just tack his shell down. And I have to touch him up. Look at all this glue sticking to it. Um, I'll take him back outside and spray him when I'm done because the wire is green so all right now i'm not going to pull real tight because i don't want it just to pull down into the frame i'm just going to pull it where it's not going to come off it's not going to blow off or anything like that so i'm just going to tie it off right here I think I'm going to tie it in two places on each one on one spot on each side. Okay. I'm going to turn around and go right back through. And this the cocoa liner is. Um, easy to get wire and stuff through so it makes it easy to work with so I'm just going to take it and wire it around this little base the center that little round wire there in the center because if we do it on the legs they might on these little bars they might slip off okay Y'all, when I try to talk louder, my voice gets raspy. So sorry about that. I feel like I'm hollering at y'all. Okay. All right, now 
there's your feet because I don't want to lose your feet. Y'all, this looks like another turtle, a red turtle. Okay, so that's what he's looking like. Um, all right, we're going to put his head right through here. And I purposely left the skewer long because I wanted it to, um, I'm just going to trim it a little bit. I want it to be where I could zip tie it and know that it was going to stay in place. We're gonna make a little ladybug out of just a little pot here in just a second. And that one's not gonna take but just a few seconds. Is okay, these has gotten moved, so you can kind of twist them around if they look like they've gotten out of place. Okay. I think he's turning out cute. Thank you, Diane. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, now, let's see. Y'all, I opened this black paint a while ago, and it spewed everywhere. everywhere. Alright. I've just got this little round sponge. And you know, every ladybug has to has to be, have um, polka dots. looking more like a little ladybug and I'm just trying to put them diagonally drop paint y'all dropped paint okay some more paint on here. How stinking cute! I'm gonna put my ladybug out there with my turtles. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. I appreciate that. Usually, I try to do a trial run before I do a video or do a live. I didn't have time, so I said, well, I wing it. And this is just what it is. But I think he turned out pretty cute. ran just a little bit. I'll have to touch that up with some black paint. I mean, some red paint. Let's 
So y'all learn from my mistakes. Y'all see the paint I let it run. Probably not getting my paint even on my little sponge here. Y'all let me do the little mess ups for y'all. polka dot there in the front. Okay. I think he's cute. With the one exception, I'll have to um, fix the little black paint that ran there. That might get it off. Y'all, baby wipes are good for cleaning up uh-ohs so that's bringing that off and i probably got my big head right in y'all's way so just get you a baby wipe if you get an uh-oh like i did and take it off Thank you so cute. <laughs> I'm loving it. How cute. Okay. Let's see. Let me get him back in where y'all see good. Um just to do a, a cute little miniature ladybug. Let me show y'all what we got here. Y'all know, the, know the, um, the pans, the aluminum pans from Dollar Tree? I just cut me out a little piece like such. It's a terracotta pot. And These I would put on like a little wire stand or something like that. This is a little one, so um, all right, let's see. Painted the little um, piece of the aluminum black. Need some eyeballs. And I just spray painted these red. I spray painted the terracotta, the terracotta pots and the cocoa liner. Um, it just says rust protector, Krylon. It don't even have the name of the color on there, I don't guess. There, it should be on the label. Classic red. Y'all, I can't even pick this little thingy up. I got hot glue strings going everywhere. I love to make crafts with um, terracotta pots because you can do amazing stuff. You can do home decor, in which I've got a couple of items coming up. I've got a something else in mine. This one literally just takes minutes. And then, where's our paint? Or what used to be our paint? And this is just a small little sponge. 
this one, I probably don't need to load it as much because of it being on a pot instead of on a cocoa liner. When you start adding the little polka dots on there, it just starts making it look like a little ladybug. How cute! But I would get some kind of little wire um, and stand him up on it. I want him. I'll we'll just put him a big black one right there in the middle. But y'all look, just how cute. Isn't that cute? And he could just be up, you know, flying around. I think they turned out adorable. And I think I got some kind of a wasp or something up in here. But these turned out cute, I thought. Thank you, Miss Robin. I would put him on a little stand flying around. And then we have our big one. So there you go. And he'll go out in our yard. And I've got some um, sealer that I'm going to paint a uh, spray on him when I put him outside. So, let me turn y'all up. There we go. <sighs> All right. There's our big pretty ladybug. I think he's just cute. <sighs> Him and his little antlers. And then if I can pick this one back up. And that's our little bitty one. So, hey Miss Dawn, how are you? We just made a little ladybug to go in the yard. Cocoa liners and wire baskets, and um, there's my sweet mama, and little terracotta pots. I think he's cute. So that's all I have for tonight. I hope y'all enjoyed this, and let me know if you're gonna make some for your yard. So I will see y'all Friday night. Uh, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time to make something else. So, I appreciate y'all being here for sprinkling and for all the all the comments and uh, showing up and hanging out with me. So, I love you all. And until next time, y'all get to crafting, make something pretty, make something unique that is you. And uh, if you hadn't joined me on YouTube, join me over there. I will see y'all later. Y'all have a great evening. Good night.